Okay, gotta remember a driver's door doesn't work. Or a driver's window doesn't work. And that thing's probably melty and loosey. Yeah, it's a, I'm sure it took a nice flambe. This car actually does have a remote start uh -huh. and it will start in gear. So oh. that's why I gave it a, um, ah. I gave it a regular key just to reduce that anxiety chance. Yeah. This wasn't really a luxury trim model, but they, you get a lot of stuff on the dash and you get that little diagram of the car that tells you what doors open. This looks like an aftermarket uh, alarm. Yeah. Um, I've never had the alarm go off on me. I've never, I'm not sure if I ever even set it correctly. And where's it gonna grab? Little luggy off of it. Shifter feels exactly the same as the fit. Uh, you know, Ferris said it, and I'm saying it, it's hard to beat the Honda's gearbox for anything that has a front wheel drive that has linkages running through it. It's just so gosh darn smooth. I, then feel free to chime in on anything. Uh, yeah. um, um, I found like, as far as, you know, um, cars I like to drive, like, you know, because I've had the eyes and ear theories and some like, you know, sporty stuff. The Hondas are, like if I'm going to get a front wheel drive car, it's going to be a Honda just because they seem to have the best, like they're just engineered to feel as sporty as you want. Red line is six and a quarter. It's got a 140 mile an hour speedometer, which nope. That's very um, yeah. optimistic. Speedometer. Totally. There is a lot of bot. Whoa, there this this feels a little bit like an American car <laughs> right here. Now it may be just to warn. Well, the, the the struts when we had the hood open look new. Maybe I just got to remember that this is a big wagon yeah. and treat it as such. Well, I think it does weigh between. It's it's about a 3,100 pound car, give or take. All right. Yeah. So. Like proportionally, it doesn't look that big, especially compared to newer cars. Yeah. Um, but it does have some weight to it. This heater is so good. I have it on. Like, come on, just give me coldness. I know it's winter time and I'm asking for cold air, but these cars have been sitting for a while and. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not really too cold out today. And next turn and left. Is he gonna go the highway too? <laughs> nope. Yeah, you can, you know, go ahead and see what it's got. It ain't got Thank much. <laughs> All right, so 2.2 liter four single jingle with a distributor. That sounds nice. Hey, she gets out of her own way pretty good. Yeah, it's it's pulling around a lot of weight for a little motor, but it does all right. Yeah. And those, Already uh, people are thinking, yeah, turbocharge this thing. I mean, yeah. call up the sloppy mechanics. There's nothing stopping you from having. Imagine that a turbo, turbo Honda Accord wagon with a stick shift. How cool would that be? Yeah. Just like a little one. Yeah. I've, you find I've, a used Borg Warner. Like, well, it's a 2.2, so you could get like a like a turbo out of out of a WRX that they don't want. Of course, not. You, of course, you're, you're talking a lot. You're talking a mega squirt ECU. I don't think this could handle positive manifold pressure. And then you're talking about you got to find someone make your own uh, headers, downpipe, and everything like that. And then you got to tune, 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 tune. Don't oh, yeah, knock. It's tune, it's and it's uh, and it's a distributor. So okay, you got to control your advance and retard. Yeah. Maybe the easiest thing would be to just, if this is just a regular distributor, could is it as easy as just turning the thing and putting a little ignition advance in it? No. Uh, probably. Maybe. I'm sure there, it's, it's, it's in that weird area where it's like, it's like old, I'm sure there's a lot of old school tricks and some new school tricks that work with this car. Right. Just because it is in that like 95, 96, like... K20 swap, bro. Yeah. Uh, well, I've had, you know, everybody's like, oh, you know, B this, A that, K that, like, yeah. you know. I mean, I know, I know a little bit about Hondas, but um, like, I don't know like the nomenclature verbatim. Yeah. So, um, but I do have some Honda guys, with Honda friends that race with NASA and all that. And, yeah. Um, if I really wanted to do a swap on it, you know, I, I could probably get it done without yeah. too much trouble. And um, I thought about it. 
it just because it's got so many miles on it. Yeah. And it is going to probably need a time belt and water pump. Or something. Okay, she's bouncy and floaty. So I don't know about this as a camera car. I mean, it's not as hard as a Honda Fit. Certainly, you have a you're, you have a larger uh, a, a wheelbase to play with. And yeah, I don't know if I'd throw this thing around to the degree that I am when I'm driving it. Yeah, there's a lot of weight it has to stop. Yeah, the brakes are a little bit. The brakes are not its strong suit, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, it does corner pretty well. Like if you do throw it into a corner, and once all that weight settles, yeah, it does track. You know, it, it you know, it handles well. It handles like you'd expect a Honda to handle. Now this car also has like narrow tires on it. I, yeah. For some reason, it has like uh, like a 185 tire, which uh, that does probably normal for the day. Yeah. I mean, that's not a, normal for today, but no, no, not at all. No, I definitely have to shift up. But again, you just throw that shifter and it doesn't fight it. I don't have to check to see if it's in a to see if it wants to take it or not. Look at that! <laughs> oh, this is fun. It's a big car, but it's fun. Well, big-ish. It's a great size. It's a good size. Good size. Yeah. Correct size. Yeah. Up there, I was. Oh, I didn't push the. It fought me a little bit that, but that was me. Uh, just getting lazy, not pushing the clutch pedal down enough. Even with a stock exhaust, it's a nice thing about these '90s Hondas. Yeah, it's smooth, 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 and up and it starts growling, and it's nice. this thing because it was in a fire <laughs> but it's it's still fun yeah well, i mean it got, I, it got lucky it didn't get too much um, damage on it yeah that um now there's a bit of rose colored glasses because this is 19 this is 1996 that was my freshman sophomore year of high school so yeah the 96 97 year was freshman year in high school marching band baseline and when I really started paying attention to cars because I knew my car was coming I didn't know what it was right, of course yeah. this was a brand new car when I was a freshman in high school and it looked so futuristic like everything was smooth because you know everybody else in high school it, it's 96 people were rolling around in 86 cars Oh, because, yeah. because you're in high school yeah. and this thing's fast it's a spaceship now i look at like oh a distributor oh yeah <laughs> For, where's the coil packs yeah, that i, I can't hook a scan tool up to it i had an 89 course in oh, high yeah? school um because well, I, I graduated from high school in 99 so you know like i i had that whole 90s car experience like everything like all you know all i really wanted was like i really want either like a civic si Course. You know, or, or maybe like, you know, if I wanted to go domestic, like I'm sure my, um, yeah. like my dad wanted, you know, you know get a domestic car, like, yeah. um, you know, get like a third gen, like an F body Camaro. Uh -huh. you know? And now, like, now that I'm older, I'm like, man, I would have hated that F body. <laughs> yeah. Not, not that it was bad, it was just for the kind of driving I like to do. Yeah. You know, like. You're going to realize you're not as fast as you thought, yeah. and you can't, and un unless you're a drift king in these corners. You're, you're gonna be great at stoplights. That's kind of it. Yeah, but for like driving on like these rural roads in Pennsylvania or like around What's that? River, What's that noise? I'm pretty sure that's the exhaust hitting the bottom of the car. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because if you let off, if you let the clutch out and just let it coast to neutral, that noise goes away. So I think the uh, the transmission mounts probably need to be replaced and it's kind of uh, uh, janking the exhaust around. Mm. <laughs> I just spun the wheel just a little bit. No problem. Sorry, man. It's it's oh, I'm nor I normally don't drive people's cars like that. Just right up to red line and stuff. I'm sorry for it's, doing that. It's, it's just it's so much. This thing is amazing. It's nothing I wouldn't have done. So what's that? It's a GT3 Cayman. Cayenne? What the heck are those things called? Oh, Porsche Cayenne. Yeah. All right, take it easy now. Now that we're here, <laughs> spend all this time talking about how I want people to behave, and then I go out in the car. 
know, we're always driving like that. Well, I'll the, the crazy up. thing is we're well within the speed limit what we were doing. Yeah, we yeah. weren't really going that fast, and that's one of the beautiful things about Hondas is that you can have fun within the bounds of the law. Yeah, this Do car I dare call this an enthusiast car? Well, it's a st well, it's a stick shift uh, wagon. Well, set of coilovers and a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Wider wheels, if the wheel, wheel wells can take it. I don't know about this particular example of it because you know it's been in a fire. You may be throwing good money after bad, but doing that. But you know, other people looking at looking at Accord wagons that are in stick shift. Yeah, look at them, try them. You'll. I, the thing is, apart from you know the suspension being a little bit worn, the tires being a little bit ba bump. Not too bad. Yeah, the only thing, the driving experience, the only thing that dates it is the skinny tires and, you know, the suspension just being a little bit old. So, yeah, a little bit floaty. Of course, that's just the, the dimensions of the car. Man, this would be neat to find, like, a tighter road or, you know, a track or something like that. It'd be nice, nice. I like it. Yeah, and the great thing about I could see my the visibility isn't that bad. It, no, actually, it's quite nice. Yeah, I could see myself owning something like this. Well, we got to see if the tripod fits in it. Okay. That's uh. Well, that's that we got to do after we do the other filming. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem, man.